Okay, so we can do the leech, the snake, or the ox. Yeah, because we did the bear. The bear's no more. I think we're going to do the ox and we're going to do the snake. I really like the leech. I want to kind of save the leech for last. I think the leech is the most interesting. So where is the... Oh gosh, where do I find the map? Oh, oh, I don't need that. Where's the map? Map, 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 map. Where is... Oh, the snake's right here. A maiden weeps lakeside for her lost lover? And the ox. Let's do the snake. Do we go around? A beast? No, that's doggy. Whoa, what is this? What a pretty tree, right? Uh, gee. What is this? A pixie nest. An assemblage of detritus and fey saliva. But one that some tiny beings call home. That's cute. Oh, and I guess that's them flying around. Yep. Alright, where is this lady? I keep forgetting the buttons. Oh my gosh. Uh, H. Map. Oh, over here. Hello! There you are! <gasps> She's so pretty! You approach a young woman, weeping sorrowfully into her palms. She catches her breath for a moment and looks out longingly over the placid lake. Oh, my sweet songbird! Why have you forsaken me to a life devoid of your love? Tears well up in her eyes as she tries to bury, as she buries her face once again. You consider leaving this melodrama well enough alone, but some something about the poor girl reminds you of the maiden slumbering under your house. Oh! You draw a tattered handkerchief and offer it to the maiden. Oh! There, there. Dry your eyes, my child. And tell old granny what the matter is. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. She takes the cloth and daintily dabs the corner of her eyes. Swallowing the last of her sobs, she composes herself before sighing wistfully. It's my beloved, such a sweet and romantic man, with the voice of a meadow lark. He- Ah, I get it. He dumped you. Well, don't worry. There's plenty of other frogs in the swamp. What? No! He loves me, and I him. Though our families would never allow us to be together, he'd come and sing outside my balcony every night. One night we both vowed to escape and meet by this lake. Her lip quivers. I waited and waited under the waning moon, even past the morning sun, but he still didn't reveal himself. <laughs> Tough break. <laughs> Tough break. Maybe he just wasn't that into you. The woman snaps at you with sudden vitriol. He would never abandon me. We were destined to be together. She slips back into a melancholic gaze out over the lake. Even now, I can still hear the beautiful melody of his lute coming from across the water. Over the dull sounds of lapping waves and quacking waterfowl, faint noises of some faraway stringed instrument whisper through the reeds. Oh, I hear it too. Maybe you aren't just mad in love. It's coming from somewhere in the middle of the lake. He's out there somewhere. I just know it. She crumples into another dramatic bout of inconsolable tears. <laughs> now, now, I'm sure it's just some echo bouncing off the shore. I'll go find where this tardy bard of yours has run off to. Ah. New chapter. The snake. <laughs> where are you? We don't... How do we get in the middle? Reveal the source the sound. Can we just walk? Oh. The music seems strongest on this shore, but even here you can't quite place the source. It seems to be emanating from the half-sunken ruin poking out of the lake's waters. Maybe that fool bard's hiding, uh, hiding way out there? Bah! I'll swim as well as hens fly. Suddenly, some unseen voice chitters mockingly into your ear. Ho ho! Hee hee! The musical man you'll never see! You spin around, but no one is there. Just a nattering laughter, bouncing on the wind. Who's there? Show yourself, spirit! Oh! Can I... Ooh, elusive pixie. Let him tell the strange whispers from the no from nowhere hereabouts. Perhaps this is their source. Okay, so we need unveiling powder, and we already have a catching net. So 
so we need unveiling powder. How do we... Gosh, I need to remember how to do all this. Unveiling powder. Oh! We can make one! Life is so easy! And we go! And... You! Come here! Come here, you! Come! Got him. You snap your hand around the elusive creature and squeeze. Ah! Let me go! You knobbly pot! You're crushing the life out of me! You trifling little pest. What do you know about this music? Music? What music? All I hear is the slapping waves and the peeping birdies. Your wrinkly old ears must have be must be full of bugs. Don't you play smart with me. I'll pop off your head like a daisy. Ooh, you mean that music? <laughs> it's the sound of the snakes traveling circus. I thought everyone knew that. Circus stays still, but the door is the thing that travels, you see? And right now the door's out on that lake, but you'll never get in. Yeah! <laughs> You give that wretched sprite a good shake, and a shower of glittering dust sheds off its wings. Tell me how to cross the lake, or I'll make a necklace from your teeth. Ah! Only a faithful can show you the way. Dirty fairies built a bridge. Keep all you big folk out, unless the snake invites them in. You're a fairy, aren't you? Where is this bridge? Ha! <laughs> We're a pixie! Not one of those flampy pampy <laughs> mushroom herders. Besides, the bridge is invisible to big stompers like you. The creature peers over your shoulder and waves its tiny arms. Oh look! There's a fairy now! Why don't you go ask her? You turn to look, but in your moment of distraction, the pixie sinks its sharp teeth into your finger. Ouch! You sneaky little blighter. Springing free from your grasp, the slippery monster chitters a laugh and vanishes in a cloud of smoke. You look down at your dust-covered hand. Fairy or not, this bridge must be around here somewhere. Okay, so we need to catch a fairy. Investigate the basin. Oh, is there anything else here? Oh, there's another dog here. Hello. Oh, it's evil. It's an evil dog. Okay. Oh, there's a chest here. <gasps> More for me. Sweet. All right. Wait, what does this basin want? Pushing aside thrushes and cattails, you find a strangely carved pedestal. It might be mistaken for a bird bath if you didn't know any better. As you run your finger around the edge of the bowl, the remaining pixie dust on your hand flakes off as if drawn in by the invisible force. A crude pictographs appear on the surface of the basin. They depict a coiled snake presiding at the center of some kind of festival. Directions on how to reveal the bridge are carved on the outside. You see symbols resembling fey dust, dancing fireflies, and bird feathers. Oh, okay, so we need feathers. Well, lucky for us, we just got some traps. We don't need to put anything in these traps, right? Snap traps. I think it's just a bird is fine. Let's see. Nice. There we go. There we go. There. Okay, I need to make one more trap now. I keep hitting that. Stop. Uh, trap. Uh, 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 bleh. There we go. Set trap. Alright. Alright, you. <laughs> go on! Go on! You little dummy. Alright, trap's done. Uh, fairy dust. You shake out the fine dust into the bowl, and it settles evenly to its inside surface. Uh, okay. Uh, firefly. Each of the fireflies alights upon the edge of the bowl, stepping delicately until they are evenly spaced. That's fancy. And blue feather. Placed into the basin, the feathers arrange themselves into perfect triangular symmetry. The basin begins to glow a soft yellow as the fireflies rise from the muck within. They begin to dance up and down, drawing circles high above the bowl. Glitter rains down gently, shimmering as it catches rays of sunlight. Slowly, the particles trace, trace the form of a bridge leading from the edge of the water to the center of the lake. You tentatively test the strength of the spectral walkway and find that it is, strong, it is as strong as if it were made of solid stone. Oh, is that it? We got the bridge? <gasps> All right, lead us in. It's time to go to the festival. 
Is this the first? Is this it? Oh! This is a bop. It's also looking like it's really loud. Hey! Whoa! Yo! Hey! How you doing? Oh, very nice. <laughs> very, very nice indeed. What else we got over here? Hello. Seems to be some kind of trance. Oh, are these guys in trances? People really like these parlor tricks. The snake would like to meet you. The snake is good to us. What? An almost hypnotic motion. Oh, are these guys like... Oh, hey, free stuff. Hold on, I'll take that. Thank you. The snake would like to meet me. Are these guys all just tranced up? Oh, is that another chest for me? Oh, yes, please. I'll take all of that. Is there any more? Can I just sit and stare at him all day? I mean, I, I prefer that. Alright, what do you want, Snakey Snoo? Oh! Hello! Draped in glittering jewelry, the serpent stares intently into a crystal ball as you approach. Welcome, my dear, welcome! I saw that you would come here in search of answers. Pah! I just came here in search of a bard. That's him outside, right? With the loot? The minstrel? Yes, he is working off a debt to me. All those folks out there seem a touch addled. What did you do to them? They're all humble folk looking for something, just as you are. I'm here to provide them with my services in exchange for a bit of work. So what are you? Some sort of carnival wizard? You're making quite the racket in my forest. A wizard? No, no, no. I'm a seer, a scryer of the hidden mists, a foreteller of fortunes and keeper of secrets. Fancy titles you've given yourself. Sounds like you're nothing but used cart salesman peddling your wares to the gullible. Ah, a skeptic. Step closer and let the crystal ball reveal its mysteries. The snake's voice drops low and it seems to fill the tent with a heavy weight. I am a helper of sorts, an unraveler of knots. I make the forgotten remembered. You feel the scaly touch of, the slither of slithering coils wind around you, but you are powerless to move. And you, you have forgotten much. The snake's eyes swirl in a pattern you've never seen. Imperceptible colors collapse into themselves and fracture into a kaleidoscope mosaics against the canvas walls. A voice speaks from far away. It takes you a moment to realize that it's your own. I have forgotten so much. Let me help you find your answers. The serpent coils slowly squeeze the consciousness out of you. With a desperate push of willpower, you blink away from the snake's hypnotic gaze. W wait Get off me, you worm! You wriggle your body like a sack of loose twigs. <laughs> Despite your protesting bones, you manage to swarm free and tumble backwards out of the tent. Oh! We got some, like, jungle book type deal. When your eyes open, you find yourself back outside the snake's tent. You pick yourself up from the ground and dust your off your shoulders. Hrumph. I guess that sly serpent has some tricks up his sleeve. I better come up with a plan for the next time I go in there. The festival patrons seem confused after your tussle with the snake, as if the spell over them was momentarily, momentarily shaken. The crowds disperse as they fumble about in a haze. Now's my chance to get a word with that bard. Maybe I can get him out of this mess. Oh, so everyone's a little bit normal? Even, even muscular guy? Oh, no, he's still... He's still very nice. He's still very, very nice. Strumming his lute, this strapping young man has a faraway look in his eyes. Is it wistfulness? Nostalgia? Or even hypnosis? Wander I may, but nearer away, from she shall call my lover. Or from she I call my lover. To my chagrin I stumbled, and I'm... Wait, what? What's a chagrin? These words. To my chagrin I stumbled in and met the gaze of another. Curious, I stared. I was not prepared, and this was my mistake. A binding gaze. Now I live my days in the service of the snake. Cry not for me, for there is she that might still see me saved. My spirits, they lift as she holds a gift from before I was enslaved. A mirror, but shattered. Its pieces have scattered. If mended, we may be set free. 
down the wishing well, wishing well spring to the swamp's moonlit ring and hid it, hiding within the pixie's tree. <sighs> the amount of words I am reading that I do not understand hurts. What's all this about a broken mirror? You gave it to that weeping maiden? Speak plainly, you warbling fool. No matter what you do, the poor musician barely seems to realize you're there. He just keeps strumming his lute and humming his mournful tune. Fah! Maybe that lovesick miss will know what he's on about. Alright. Bye, guys! See ya! Is there anything else I'm missing here? Snake will like to meet me. Yeah, boo, boo, boo. What happens if I actually try to go back in? I'm not so keen to have my brain probed again. <laughs> Alright, well, that's fair. Maiden! Hello? Oh, still my beating heart. Have you any news about my dear sweet love? I found him in the, at the carnival, but he's been mesmerized by uh, the snake. Unless I can break the spell, no one in the car in that carnival can leave. The snake? Say it isn't so. I've heard how he grants wishes, but only for a terrible price. Why would my love be so desperate as to consort with that charlatan? I haven't a clue, but he's stuck deep. The only thing I managed to get out of him was something about a mirror. Do you know anything about that? A mirror? Oh, yes. It was the first gift he ever gave me. From the inside of her bodice, she produces a small cracked hand mirror. But one night, it slipped from my balcony and shattered on the cobblestones. I tried to piece it back together, but I could never find the last three shards. Hmm. His song mentions something about a wishing well, a moonlit swamp, and a pixie tree? Keep that mirror close. I'll seek out the missing shards and return them to you. Oh, thank you. I should very much love to see it whole once again. Well, we saw the pixie tree. Pixie tree was not far. Here it is. Alright, what about this pixie tree? This gnarled tree is littering with countless trinkets and bits of trash glued haphazardly together to form a glittering hive. You reach for a sharp piece of broken glass that could be the mirror shard, but pull your hand away at the last moment. A thousand beady eyes peer out of the tree's knot holes. A familiar cackling voice floats above the others. You again, Kettlehead! What do you want now? I've come for that mirror shard. Hand it over and I won't have to strangle you again. <laughs> no way! We need shinies to keep gross fairy folk away. Best fairy repellent there is. What? Since when are fairies afraid of shiny things? Well, I don't see no fairies around, do you? But, maybe we can work something out. Them smelly mushroom herders have been encroaching on our turf, see? They've been building those stupid little stone shrines of theirs. And worse yet, they've been hiring mercenaries to guard them. So we can't go anywhere near. But maybe a big stomper like you can take care of the problem for us? And then you'll give me the shard? Hey, if there ain't no fairies, we won't need no fairy repellent. That's a fair deal. That's a fair deal. But where? What? Destroy the shrines in the forest. Did we see one of- Oh, that's one of them. I mean, what do these guys need? Dreadful doll? Can't I just, like, go in? Charge! Ow. Okay. Okay. Alright. <laughs> that hurt. Got it. Got it. We're not doing that. Excuse me, Mr. Cow. Don't mean to intrude. Is this where I get green? Upon closer inspection, this mountain of hay appears to have been deliberately woven into an intricate wicker work structure. You carefully pluck a single piece of straw from its center, and the whole bundle begins to swirl and unravel into a, until a gaping vortex opens before you. Uh, we're not going in there right now. That that was not the plan. Alright, I'm here, bozo. Hadoui! Yeah. Yeah, how's it feel? Yeah, later, loser. Actually, I'll take this tube right next to you. Gosh, you're so loud. Alright, where is this other one? Not up here. Here you guys are. Hopefully this one is enough. Ow! You guys are gonna kill me! Oh. Is that all I need? Oh, it is. Get back over here, you fairy! There we go. 
Alright, now where's this last one? Oh, this last one's with the dog. I should have freaking known. Uh, there we go. We're fine. Here you go, bumper. That was so quick. <laughs> that was just a one and done, dude. That was great. Uh, winky. Winky. Come here, child. I hate children. Alright, that's everything. Where did that fairy go? There's no way that she went so far so quickly. She disappeared! Okay. Oh, pixie butthole man! I did it! I kicked over those little rock piles like you asked. Now give me that shard or I'll knock you over- I'll knock over this nest too. You smash fairy shards? Yeah, hey! Good, good! Take it! We don't want your trash! The pixie flicks the shard out of the tree and it spikes into the ground. Alright, that's one. The next one is in the forest well. And then we'll go to the swamp. The well's not far from here. I think it's just a little south. Mm, yep, here it is. Excuse me. I know you're like scared and all, but can you get over it? Alright. Oh, there's so much to dig here. So many materials. How could I refuse? Winky. And, uh, Winky! As long as there's no frogs, it makes my life a little easier. Gosh dang it, I said no frogs! Yeah, rip it. Rip it my butt. Back here. Yeah, back here. There's this whole back gateway thing. Was this always here? Locked. Was that always there? Oh, maybe that has the shard? This little hole thing? Hello! You hike up the hem of your skirt and from the ankle-deep well water and duck down to inspect the small, the small damp cave. A pale shape quickly retreats farther into the dark space. You hear the labored breath of some pathetic thing, frightened and alone. Hello there! Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Bloodshot eyes blink nervously up at you. The creature gazed longingly at the light of the world above while simultaneously cowering from it. Poor dear, what are you doing down in this hole? I bet you're hungry, aren't you? Two thin, malnourished arms twist out from the crevice. One hand slightly clutches a shard of glass, while the other hand reaches out to you begging for food. Roast beast? The creature uncurls bony fingers. Ah, I have to feed you. What is this gonna take? Oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. I'm here for you. I already had it. I already had it. What? No! <laughs> I thought I freaking. No! I'll be back. I'll be back. Here we go. I have it for you. I'm back with foods. Two thin, malnourished arms. Yep, here's your roast beast. The creature snatches up the meat so quickly that you nearly lose a finger. It scurries back into its little crevice, and you hear a satisfied munching from within. The mirror shard lays abandoned in its slit. Yay! Yay! So now all we do is gotta go to the swamp. I don't know where I'm gonna find this in the swamp. The swamp is freaking huge! I don't wanna go into the doctor's thing. I don't think I have to right now. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Are these dying people? That one's alive! He's moving! Unless a- That one's not alive. What is happening over here? What? I don't like this place. Where I'm just trying to- Who are you? Who are you? A Drake? What are you? You're gonna kill me! I don't get it! I get it! What are you doing? What do you- What do you got over here? You got mirrors? You got a mirror? I don't think you have a mirror. Okay, bye! Uh, okay. Mm, mirror? What are you? A stick totem? Someone built this effigy to pay respect to the moon. The moon, in turn, has given it life. That's interesting. Oh, is this it? The thick moss growing in this massive fallen trunk seems to recoil at your touch, revealing a strange etchings on the bark below. Slowly, a spark of swirling energy seeps forth from the waterlogged wood 
until an ethereal doorway opens before you. What is this? What are these? Oh, are these a teleporter to the home thing? Yeah! Oh! Oh, that makes life a little easier. Who are you? <laughs> Why is the swamp cursed? Hey, how you doing? You got a mirror back there? Huh? What do you want? Passable unless perhaps he likes you? A fat troll sits squarely in the middle of the bridge, busy sn scratching an itch on his back with a fallen tree. His unmatched girth blocks the path forward. Out of the way, you big galoot! He shifts his mass and releases a loud fart as you attempt to circumvent him. Oh, fine! Keep your bridge. I'll come back when the vapors have dissipated. You freaking tutor! I still don't get where... My... What? This is like the. I'm just gonna start digging. Maybe it's in here somewhere. What is this? What? What did I do to the snail? It has to be here somewhere. It can't be like so hidden, right? Oh, there's a lot of people there. Hold on, it might be around here somewhere. Hello? Yep, it's in the middle. What do I do with all of you? These are sh strange to begin with. Uh, oh! These animated wooden effigies seem to engage in a ritualistic dance. They march in stiff patterns around the reflective piece of glass embedded in the soft ground. You lean it in for a better look just long enough to make out the shard's mirrored surface refle reflecting the ghostly image of the moon. You think to reach in and grab it, but the swinging limbs of the dancing totems are too dense and quick. Out of the way, you overgrown twigs! Maybe I can get them to shift their attention to some other glittering bauble? A moonlight globe? So once we go in. Alright, 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 I see. I can't go in. Got it. So what do I need? What is this? What? 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 Totemic moon drop? Where am I gonna get that? That wasn't part of the deal! Okay, so I need to make a bomb. A glitter ball <laughs> and a flower petal. Great. So I have to bounce around everywhere again. Got it. Um, a totemic moon drop. Would I have to go and like kill the other totem people because there was some not far from here. Maybe that's what I'm about to do. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's craft it. Moonlight. Oh, I already crafted it. Hey, maybe I can get them to shift their eyes. Moonlight glow. You cast the glowing globe into the ritual circle and watch the wooden effigies suddenly lose coordination and knock their wooden limbs into each other. You take the opportunity to slip between their tall frames and snatch the mirror shard before their frenzied dance begins to anew. Take it! Nice! Oh, that looks really pretty! Hey! Hey! Look at that! I'm dancing with you guys! Alright, bye! Lady! Lady Lou! Where are you? I got your mirror shards! Have you found any of the mirror shards? I wonder where they could be. Here they are. You gingerly hand over the broken glass shards to the maiden. She's careful not to cut herself on the razor sharp edges as she slots them into the mirror frame. The pieces click into place perfectly and the surface of the mirror ripples like the water on the lake. The ripples calm, settling into the form of a pristine crystal mirror. She gazes into the mirror with awe. Look! It's as good as new! Oh! The maiden's reflection ripples and morphs into the visage of a handsome young man. My love, is that you? Overcome with joy, a fresh stream of tears roll down her cheeks. I can't believe my eyes! I don't understand! What happened? Where are you? I'm imprisoned inside my own head. It's horrible here. You have to get me out. You went into to the snake, didn't you? Why would you do something so stupid? Uh, listen, my love, I have a confession to make. I'm not actually that good of a musician. What are you talking about? You are so beautiful upon your balcony. A bum like me would never get your attention. So I, uh, asked a snake to help me out a little? I thought I could protect myself from the snake's hypnotic gaze with this magic mirror. But then you went and broke the darn thing. I didn't break it. It slipped out of my hand. Wait. Don't put this on me! How could you be so irresponsible? 
one problem at a time, children. We can fix the mirror. So it should be able to break the snake's spell now. Yes! Oh, you have no idea how unbearable it is being stuck in here. There's nothing but awful poetry and song lyrics that don't even rhyme. Please, Granny, take the mirror. I can hardly stand to look at this buffoon any longer. Babe, wait! Oh ho ho ho! Take it. Ooh! Confront the snake in the fairgrounds. Alright, is this it? Is this the confrontation? Oh, snakey snoo! You're about to die! Here we go. Back again. Take a seat and let me gaze into your eyes. Never! Sudden dread grips the snake as you swing the shimmering mirror to meet his eyes. The mind-altering patterns of his gaze are reflected back at to him. Slowly but steadily, the snake leans closer and closer to the surface of the mirror. His forked tongue flicks against the glass and then disappears beyond it. It's so beautiful like the length of a rope being pulled through the the islet an islet the snake rushes forward and vanishes into his own reflection oh is he stuck in the mirror now the mirror jolts and bucks out of your hand clattering to the ground you stoop down careful not to look too deeply ah ha ha it's in there Hidden in the reflection of the mirror surface you can faintly make out a tiny wiggle wriggling shape trapped just beyond the veil of this world. The soul of the snake. We did it! Quest completed. So what's everyone gonna be out? Like, what's happening now with everyone? Can I be free? Hello? Oh, it's empty. No! Not the flexing man! He's gone too! This is a tragedy! Bring the snake back! Bring the snake back! So, are they fine now? What about the couple? Oh! Oh, she's standing up now. Hey! Looks like the two of them are working things out. Aw! Well, at least they're trying! Cool!